No, he didn't show anything new because when he became exhausted, when he got uh, when he got hit and he became exhausted, he did what Wilder always does. He sought he sought out his power. So it's, it, I didn't see anything new. I didn't see anything particularly new. I mean, he landed a good body punch here and there, but for the most part, it was just Deontay Wilder. I would have to go back and look at the fight twice. I haven't looked at the fight since I saw it that night. So I'd have to go back and, and sit down and, and look at the characteristics of the fight, and then I can say, yeah, it's an all-time great heavyweight fight. But I, it, it, basically, it was, it was a will, a, a wild street brawl, like, you know, it was brawling. A lot of brawling was going on. So I would have to sit down in the privacy of my own room and watch the fight. And then I can say, yes, this was a great fight, you know, or this or that, you know, but right now I can't say. Yeah. No, that didn't surprise me. That didn't surprise me at all. Uh, uh, he's, a, he's a tough guy. He has a tough mentality, you know. Unfortunately, he don't have the, the skills to back that toughness up, but I knew that he would fight. He's got a lot of courage, you know, so yeah, that, that didn't surprise me at all. Incredible that uh, Deontay Wilder got this far in his career and became a success in boxing, in my, in, in my opinion, based only on his right hand. He never learned the art of boxing. He never learned the art of defense. None of those things. It's, it's incredible how he went so far with basically with just the right hand. So, you know, kudos to him because he, he made a lot of money and uh, he's probably gonna be go down in history as one of the hardest punches ever. But he never learned the art of defense and offense. Uh, Olegsen Usek might be the best boxer in the world right now. I think that he can beat Fury. I think that he has the style and the speed to beat Fury. You know, he just can't allow Fury to, to bulldoze him, lay on him and stuff like that there because it would wear Usek out. It would tire him greatly. You know, you got a, a big 280 pound man resting on top of yourself. But I, I think that Usek is the best heavyweight that's out there right now. I think he's the best. If that fight happened, how would it will be look like? Uh, Tyson Fury would try to wear him down and, and knock him out late. But Usek, uh, Usek uh, would box Tyson Fury. He would box him. Box him one-on-one -on -one and try to outpoint him maybe catch him late, you know. Knocking Fury out is not an easy thing, so I would think that uh, Olegsen Usek would win the fight. But Usek is um, a well-conditioned and a well-prepared boxer. He, he, Usek thinks in the ring. He's not just a boxer, he's a thinking boxer. He's always planning two steps ahead of the other guy. So yeah, Tyson's gonna come in and try to lay on him and maul him and brawl him and try to tie him out. That's the plan. That's what I would have him do. I wouldn't try to have him box with Usek. I'd have him try to maul him and brawl him and elbow him and do whatever I can to, to, to make him tired. But um, Usek, like I said, is a, is a thinking fighter and he's always thinking ahead of the opponent that he's in there with. And I see Usek seriously uh, outpointing Tyson Fury most likely would outpoint Tyson Fury. Fury is a big guy, he takes a good punch. Uh, his only way of stopping Tyson Fury that, that's really available to him is on cuts. If he can make Tyson Fury bleed. But other than that day, I, I think uh, Alexander Usyk would outpoint him, you know, with boxing skills. Based on the last fight they had, I'd have to go, go with it. Usek to win the fight. You know, I don't, I, it's just something about Joshua. I think there's some uncertainty somewhere in his psyche. I think there's some uncertainty, and because of that uncertainty, I'd have to go with uh, Alexander Usek to win that fight too. Because the, the Usek that he sees in the second fight is going to be a different Usek than he saw in the first fight. You know, Usek he's passed and won the championship. But the guy that's coming to defend the championship is going to be a whole different Usain. 
he likes the way the, the championship fits, fits him. And he's going to fight harder in the second fight. So if they're thinking that they're going to fight the same Usyk like they saw in the first fight, think again. They're going to fight the guy that's the world champion. And Usyk likes the way that championship feels, and he's going to fight his ass off to keep that championship. So I had to uh, go with Usyk. He 50 fight because out of Wallen, this would be his biggest fight to date. And Billy and White has both fought everybody and their mother. So yeah, it's a 50 50 fight. It's anybody's fight going into the fight, you know? But if my back was to the wall, I would choose out of Wallen to beat Tyson Fury. He has the right chemistry and the right outlook. And I think that he'd do a far better job the second time as opposed to the first time. So yeah, I, I think Otto Walling, I think Otto Walling has Tyson Fury's number. Boxer. And a, a big puncher with both hands. He's always that uh that wild card, the wild card in all of it, you know. So you, you can't count him out in any con any contest against any of them. He's always got that that power, you know, when you got power like that, when you can punch, and in his case, he can punch with both hands, and he has a good boxing skill, so, you know, you can't count him out. You know, uh, I trained Vladimir Klitschko alongside Emmanuel Stewart for a long time, and I would suggest that, you know, you take two or three warm-up fights to come back into boxing, as opposed to just jumping back in and taking a fight. You know? I mean, I know that he's been sparring and things like that there, but sparring is a, is a far different story from actually being in the ring boxing. So I would I would, I would have him to take at least one or two fights before he go for the big one. I don't know. I don't know. Uh, Tyson Fury was awkward and he gave Vladimir problems in the first fight. You know, but I don't, I don't know. It, it, a renewed Vladimir, a renewed Vladimir at 45 years old, because he keeps himself in superb condition. I, I don't know. But you'd have to think, you'd have to make Tyson Fury 70 30 to win the fight in sport. They could care less about the fans. They care about the dollars that they can make on particular fights. So they can care less. They, they, it's not about pleasing the fans now. This, this is about angling to make money. Otherwise, how could that possibly be? None of those guys have fought each other. Uh, Devin Haney, Ryan Garcia, Lomachenko, you know, none of these guys has fought each other. So it's all about money. It's not about sport no more. It's, just, it's all about angling to make money. You know that Lomachenko has a lot left and that he still wants to do it. So why should I gamble by fighting Lomachenko when I can just wait him out. I can just wait him out until he gets too old to do it and then let him go away. So I think that they know that Lomachenko still has desire, still has ability, still is able to go in there and beat some of the top guys and they don't want to take a chance on him. I mean, what other, what other reason could there be? He's been out there five, six, seven years now and, and nobody wants to fight him. It shouldn't take this long for uh, a Javante Davis to fight with a Lomachenko, you know? But Floyd Mayweather, the brain trust, uh, Leonard Ellaby and these guys, they're saying, no, 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 we don't want to get in with Lomachenko because we Lomachenko could possibly beat us. So we don't want to take that chance. Lomachenko will stop coming. We try. I think he's gonna stop and miss out of five rounds. I think because Comey is a gambler. He's throwing punches, he's up, he's up in the air, he's got his head up in the air and stuff. He could be hit. And when Loma, Lomachenko hit him, he's not gonna let him off the hook. So I think that Lomachenko wins the fight by a via knockout. Lopez knocks him out. Knocks him out six, seven rounds. Tefimo Lopez knocks him out. And Tefimo Lopez is a good puncher, you know, he's a good puncher, and he can box a little bit. I think that uh, he could possibly knock, uh, knock out.
I take uh, Lomachenko and, and um, Tank Davis. Those are two I take. Even though, um, yeah, Tank Davis and, and, and Lomachenko. 